the of the of, with, with the provisions of the electoral act and the INEC guidelines. Now, what they have contended is very broad, but in summary, the petitioners are contending, among others, that the failure to transfer or transmit, they are one and the same under the, the law. The electoral act in section 60 uses the expression transfer. But of course, when you look at paragraph 34, in fact, when you look at section 60, subsection 5 of the electoral act, and you even go to some other sections of the, including section 65, several sections, transfer of, of the results, of course, is transmission, right? Now, Peter B has contended, which for me, I mean, is if, if there is a ground, I can say with all sense of humility that I know cannot be defended, it is this ground, the question of non-transmission or non-transfer. It is now left for the courts to determine what the consequence should be, because there is overwhelming evidence that at the time Tunubu was declared, not even the date of the election, but at the time of declaration, because by the law, as that today, by what is written in black and white, the transfer should have taken place at the time the result is counted and declared at the polling unit, live, real time as mm. INEC says in their guidelines. They are contending that majority of the votes were not transmitted. And therefore, the electoral act was not complied with. They have also raised issues regarding mitigation of results of the four ECA series, alterations on the, on the results. Several issues have been raised. They have also raised issues regarding the conduct of INEC itself. All this comes under the ground of non-compliance. But guess what? Election is not nullified or cannot be nullified because you have proved non-compliance with the electoral act. Election can only be disqualified on grounds of non-compliance if that non-compliance is substantial. So for us lawyers and the courts, what is material, what is imperative is material, is substantial non-compliance, right? And I, I believe as I go on, I will speak to what may be taken to be substantial non-compliance for the purpose of an election. So as I said, I have highlighted the grounds and I have stated the premise in general.